So guys, have you ever completed a journey in your Mercedes-Benz and wondered what all of this information is on your screen here? Well, this is the Mercedes-Benz trip computer. And if it's the first time you've ever been in a Mercedes-Benz, you might not know what each of these sections are or even how to adjust it. Potentially you had your speed in the middle and then it's gone. So in this video today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how it works and on one of the sections can even save you money if used properly. So a trip computer can quite simply show you how fast you're going, i.e. your current speed. It can show you how far you've traveled, also how much fuel you're using, and it can even show you how long you've sat in the car for. And this is what it looks like. And quite simply, you just use the touchpad closest to the driver's door to adjust it. So for me, I'm in the UK, it's a right-hand drive car. This is the touchpad here that you use to control the screen in front of you course if it's left hand drive then use the left hand side so quite simply put your finger or thumb on there and you just literally swipe very lightly and you'll see it will change everything on the screen in the middle now I do have a separate video on the left side of the screen and the right side of the screen called customize your instrument cluster uh, so I won't go through these bits but just to show you a couple of things that you can do you can customize each element here and even put the sat nav on some models in one of the dials as well like that but I said, I won't run through that in this video. This is purely the trip computer and all the statistical information in the middle. So if you want to see how to do that on your screen here, uh, click on the pop-up banner up above and it'll take you straight to that video on how to do that. So starting from the classic screen, quite simply here, you swipe this touchpad up or down to control the middle screen. And notice those little red dots that appear there. As you swipe up and down, you'll see which red dot you're on. Basically the default one is usually the top one or the one down from the top one so usually either that one there or that one there so starting out with the top one this shows you your total mileage of the car so this one being 98 miles now if you see the top number there you can actually reset that one and with the touchpad it's also a button so if you click that button in it'll ask do you want to reset it and then you can swipe down and click yes and then it'll reset it now of course you can't obviously reset the the bottom number but um, you can reset the top one, the bottom one obviously being the total mileage of the car since it was new. Swiping the touchpad down one more, you'll see on some cars, not all of them, but on some cars you can make the current speed quite big and you know quite prominent in the middle. Now it will always be somewhere on your dashboard, see in this example it's at the top here, but then swipe down and you can make it nice and big in the middle. Not all cars can do this, but it is a nice touch um, if your car does have that feature. Swiping the touchpad down one more, you'll see your current consumption. So this is essentially MPG, your current MPG. Now I have the engine off currently, so of course this is going to show 999 or unlimited MPG because the engine is off. But as you drive around, you'll see that it will show you your current consumption. So um, obviously if you're cruising at a set speed, that's where you'll get your highest MPG. But if you're around town, stop starting or accelerating, then of course that will be where the MPG is a bit lower. And as you drive, you'll see it will go kind of go up and down and adjust based on how uh, much you press the accelerator pedal. Uh, swiping down one more will bring up the eco display. Now, this one is quite clever. Apart from it showing you if you're on reserve fuel, like it will show you on here at the moment, because obviously this is a fairly new car, you can also see around the exterior of this circle things called acceleration, then there's constant and coasting. All these things are quite clever actually because this is the Mercedes-Benz Eco display. Now I have a dedicated video on this particular feature and it's a very, very good way of showing you how to save money because it can actually teach you to drive extremely economically. Now I'm gonna link that video up above on the pop-up banner and if you wanted to see that, click on that one. But in a nutshell, it quite simply shows you number one on this section, how much you're accelerating. So if you accelerate more, then of course it won't be as economical. On the top one, it shows you how much of that speed you're staying at a constant speed. So not stopping and starting. And on the bottom right, this is coasting, shows you how much you kind of let the car coast. So this is where you uh, get up to speed, for example, say like 40 miles an hour, and then you take your foot off the accelerator pedal and just let the car kind of roll to a stop. The more you do that, the more that section will fill up. And if you get all of them filled up, it'll actually glow green to show your driving as economically as possible. The next one after this is called From Start. There is also another one called From Reset. Now both of these show exactly the same things. However, 
The difference between the two is from start is pretty much, and most of the time, the journey for the day that you've just done. It does automatically reset after, I think it's six hours, maybe four, six hours. So basically if you uh, get out and leave the car for an extended period of time, when you get back in it after a long time, it will reset back to zero again. And the only difference to that compared to from reset is when you last reset it. So most of the time it's actually when you um, last pick the car up. So um, you can actually see how long you've sat in the driving seat for, which um, does add up quite a lot. Uh, but going through these sections, uh, if we go to from start, for example, very top one, you can see this is your total mileage. In most scenarios, this is uh, the total mileage for the journey you've just done or for the total journey for the day. Underneath that is how long you've sat in the car for. So for me, for example, this is 13 minutes with the ignition on. Bottom left shows you your average MPG for that journey. And then bottom right shows you basically the average speed for that journey as well. So all this is quite useful information if you're quite keen on those stats of your car. As I said, the only difference to the next one, the front reset, everything is exactly the same. It just shows you since the car was last reset. Most of the time it's from when you picked it up from new or if you've if you bought the car recently. So this for example here, 97 miles in total, total of seven hours, and then of course you've got the MPG on the bottom, and then the average speed down there, quite a low uh, miles per hour there. So obviously whoever was driving this is probably stuck in a bit of traffic. So that would obviously indicate why you have slightly lower MPG. So they're all quite useful information and stats on there. The very last thing on the trip computer is by swiping down and on this section, on some cars, you can make it full screen. So if I click this in, it will basically transform the whole dashboard here and turn it into a full screen trip computer. So this one, basically elements of everything we've just been through. On the left hand side, you have your current consumption and your average MPG from the start of your journey, as well as your range. Uh, in the middle and then of course on the right hand side is your eco display it shows you how much uh, fuel you've been using acceleration constant coasting basically the eco display with how you can drive economically so it's kind of all built into one with a couple of extra stats on the bottom if you press the back button then this will go back a step and then of course you can swipe up and down and kind of control the screen and kind of just leave it on the element you want to leave it on but then I guess the final thing to note is just in case you've had it on something else, so say for example you had it on media and you had, I don't know, your radio or something else in the middle that um, doesn't look like anything you've just seen. On the steering wheel there is a home button somewhere on the side closest to the driver's door. If you click this in, this is how you can then swipe left and right and trip is the one that we've just been through today. But of course, there's many other things you can do, which I cover on the customize your instrument cluster video. So just in case you missed that pop-up banner from earlier, there'll be a link in the description down below, just in case you want to check that one out, which goes into all the other sections in a bit more depth. So guys, that is the Mercedes-Benz trip computer. So if you have any suggestions or questions on videos or anything like that, pop it in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to answer any questions or suggestions you might have. But guys, if you want to know how to customize your instrument cluster, be sure to check out this video as this one shows you virtually everything you can do on the instrument cluster in front of you. Huge shout out to Sandown Mercedes-Benz as they help provide access to all these awesome cars you see in the videos. So huge, huge shout out to them. Thanks so much for watching guys. Until next week, see you then.